Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna give you a complete tour of the city of Watford City, North Dakota. Let's get right into it. What's going on guys? This is David Van Ashley with the Living in North Dakota team. And if this is your first time to this channel and you wanna learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play here in Watford City and the entire state of North Dakota, make sure you click that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified every time we put out another video. And look, honestly, we get so many phone calls, emails, and text messages every single day from people who are looking to move and relocate here to Watford City and the state of North Dakota. We absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving or relocating here to Watford City, or any other city or town in North Dakota, make sure you pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us an email, send a quick text message, days, nights, weekends. We've got your back when moving here to Watford City, North Dakota. All right, so if you're thinking about moving to Watford City, uh, I'm gonna go on a limb and guess that there's probably a very good chance that you work for the oil and gas industry. If not, comment below and let me know what's going on because I would be super curious to find out why else you'd be moving here. So that said, you know, Watford City south of Williston is smack dab in the middle of the Bakken oil field and the oil industry and, and the farms, of course, around here are definitely what predominantly runs the economy. It runs everything about this place. And so, you know, as you're kind of of walking around looking around there's lots of heavy equipment big trucks oil field equipment um, you know that really is what this place is about however there are some really cool spots downtown which is this main strip right here i'm going to show you a little around what's going on here so you can see what kinds of things there are to do and check out all right so driving around i'm just going to go up and down the uh main street literally called main street here in watford this has been here a long time lots of little boutiques you got a coffee shop they do uh some fedex shipping i think in there you know baker energy that services there's a lot of oil field energy consultant type companies you know a lot of just small businesses mom and pop larson service and drug you got your credit union your banks just the little like small town it's the most idyllic you know a little small town type of look you could think of you know icon they've got a nice new building here on the corner Icon's a popular um, engineering firm in the area that are in architects and so let's get up here this heads north to give you a little bit of idea of a couple of neighborhoods and things like that, let's just actually head straight north and I'll drive straight into one of the newer neighborhoods so you can kind of get an idea of what newer construction in the area looks like. So if you are moving here and you're thinking, you know, hey, I want to, you know, definitely find a place for my family, you know, our team is here and ready to help you guys find that. So Watford City has been here, I don't know, since the late 1800s, it's old. But it wasn't until, you know, let's say starting in 2010, 2011, during the Bakken oil boom, uh, that this place really started to explode and get you know a lot of investment and kind of a, re reju a rejuvenation of the uh, of the area and the economy for a lot of years it was kind of a dying place where it was kind of a dying place if you will where kids would be born grow up and you know if they go to college they'd move away and basically never come back well a lot of that trend's been reversed you know there's a lot of new investment here housing jobs you know whether you're talking um, you know energy consultants or um, engineers you know or other related businesses and services you know for a small town like this things are definitely have changed a lot you know they got nice looking apartment buildings they're not your just basic plain Jane you know units and up here so this neighborhood we're heading towards is extremely popular not the biggest lots but depending on where you're coming from and what you're used to they're absolutely appropriate and you know well sized you know definitely for you know, the size of homes here in the distance you can kind of see we're coming up on the neighborhood right now I'd say these homes are gonna be more of your moderately priced homes. It's not the most expensive housing in the area, but it's definitely not, you know, the cheapest. You know, the lowest price homes are gonna be a lot of your original built homes in this town and or city. And, um, you know, a lot of them are probably in need of repair, for sure, for sure remodeling. You know, there's a lot of homes that need to be flipped and gutted and, and redone to be, you know, bring them back up to uh, modern day standards. But, you know, there's still people living in them. And on that note, actually, I wanna mention something that that's kind of important and big and, uh, and unique. Most places in America, somebody who's on, let's say two, you know, retail incomes, maybe two people work at a Walmart or something, right? In this area, it won't be the nicest house by any means, but you can still afford to actually buy a home. You know, you don't, you know, there's USDA, 0% down loan programs, of course, FHA, which is super popular. But point is, is this is the kind of place where, you know, if you're struggling to make the American dream happen, it can still be uh, had here. A lot of people have done it, myself included. And um, 
yeah, you're definitely gonna wanna explore that and you're gonna wanna call us so that we can help introduce you to the right people to make this a reality. So just quick tour. Like I said, this neighborhood is about five minutes north of uh, downtown Watford City. So super easy to get down there to go watch a movie or go out to dinner at Outlaws. But otherwise, you know, you got a lot of these homes have three car garages big wide streets, beautiful views, concrete roads, not, not asphalt, which concrete's really nice in the, in North Dakota just because the constant freeze thaw, freeze thaw, it really causes, you know, traditional road surfaces to crumble really quick. Whereas here, you can have some really nice roads for a lot of years. So yeah, building out neighborhoods like this, where we've got the nice concrete, slow edged um, curving, you know, and sidewalks, super family friendly. The kiddos can come out here and ride their bicycles and play and yeah, you're definitely gonna have, you know, a pretty nice way of living in a neighborhood like this. And it's just like, yeah, it's so, it's so close to being in town. And yeah, you're not gonna really have to worry about any major maintenance issues in a neighborhood like this anytime soon. So now that we've seen, you know, an example of what a, uh, you know, a more recent modern history neighborhood looks like, let's go ahead and drive back into town. I'm gonna head up the hill and just kind of drive around and show you some of the older neighborhoods so you can see what, you know, a more quote unquote traditional Watford City home would look like. Let's head over there right now. So the original town of Watford City is basically built on a hill. We're going up a fairly steep hill right now, just driving up here. Some of these homes have been recited and you know, there's a, an older, more traditional looking home, maybe a couple of additions on it. So we're climbing, 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 big water tower here at the top. And just look at that view, 360 degrees all around. Absolutely stunning. So not so different than uh, Williston, about 45 minutes to the north of here. Being part of the oil field, both Watford City and Williston really are driven by what happens in, to oil prices and what happens to the uh, oil and gas companies that really are driving and creating the jobs here. And so you're gonna see a lot, of, um, a lot of apartments because a lot of people don't actually live here. They come here to work and they leave. They come to work and they leave. And so that's a big pattern. This video though, I'm not focused Focusing on that, I'm focusing on those of you that are watching this that actually are thinking about moving here, so that you can get a sense of what the community looks like. You can get a, you know a sense of what the community looks like, what the you know stores look like, you know the parks. If you've got kiddos, you know I want you to understand you know what is available for them, so that you know you can really wrap your mind around moving to a small town and what is that going to look like for my kiddos. So that's the goal of this video. And if you got questions, you know we definitely have answers. So uh, I'm going to try and cover as much as that I can in this video. But you're going to want to reach out to us. Minimum, just you know comment below but even better call email or text that's the best way to uh, get in touch with us and we can have a conversation but let's just keep driving here just to see what some of these older homes look like So we're at the top of the hill, um, real close to the county courthouse. This is McKenzie County, if you're kind of curious about that. So that's at 5th and 2nd Avenue West, 5th Street. Beautiful, breezy day. So this part of town, which is right off of downtown, up here on the left is actually JL Beers and First International Bank and Trust, which is a fairly large regional bank. It covers all of North Dakota. They're actually down in Arizona as well. Their uh, they're headquarters though, right here in Watford City. So the Stengem family, Norwegian name, I don't know their family history by any means but they uh the owners of the bank and they invest heavily in this community you know you might say they actually control the community in some sense you know they definitely are a major part of what happens here and how things go so if you're a business person and you're working here if you don't already know the Sengem family uh guaranteed that you will but if you're just you know moving here to work for one of these companies and jobs you don't necessarily have to know them nothing bad to say about them for sure but they definitely obviously have you know placed some serious bets on Watford City with uh financing a lot of these developments and you know being a very big integral part of the growth of this town. So we're going to head south here on Main Street. Way back in the day, you know, 10, 15 years ago, we were driving basically down into a swamp here. And now we've got a large shopping center with cash wise, tractor supply. You got restaurants, you got coffee shops, you got car, you know, car washes, home of economy. Back there in the distance, you got Cornerstone Bank up here. We've got the big holiday gas stations and Cenex because again, we got lots of semi trucks running around here, lots of oil field equipment, lots of big pickups, and they all do them a lot of fuel. And so these big gas stations are definitely a part of this community just because it's the nature of the beast. A little more retail, more, uh, you know, more of the, just the services that you need when you live in a community. And it's been really fun and exciting to watch all this grow over the last 10 years because like I said, none of this was here in recent history. 
So there's obviously other spots where you can find services and retail, but I just want you to know that, you know, there is, you know, Cashwise Grocery Store is the main grocery store. There's a smaller one called Jack and Jill's up in the old original part of town. You know, they're gonna have your basics, but they're definitely not a big box grocery store. Let's head over real quick. I just want you to have an idea of like other housing options. So you got the old original town. You've got what's called a suburb or a subdivision north of town with, you know, moderately priced homes. If you're coming here and you're more of, um, you know, you've got a larger business and you have a, a more substantial income and you want to have, you know, one of the nicer homes in the nicer areas of town, I'm going to drive over and show you what that looks like right now, just so you can kind of get a glimpse into, into that and being, you know, being basically on the golf course and uh, yeah, you know, much bigger home, higher, higher build qualities, things like that. So let's go over and check that out. All right. So if you're kind of in search for, you know, one of the nicest homes in our neighborhoods in the area, again, of course, the Stengem family, they're, uh, like I said, they're big on developing the area and uh, promoting Watford City, but this is called the Fox Hills Golf Course. So I'm just going to drive through the neighborhood and just kind of give, give you an idea of what these homes look like. There's the green in the background. So yeah, definitely a well-kept, beautiful little neighborhood. Not a ton of houses, but it's one of those neighborhoods with a cul-de-sac that you live here, you're gonna know all of your neighbors and their kids. And you know, you got bicycles and razors, so it's definitely kid-friendly. They don't even bother bringing their toys inside. They just leave it out. I think that's kind of cool. Hey, so before I forget, Watford City does have a, um, a municipal airport and it can service, you know, private jets. They come in, here, in and out of here all the time. As we're driving up here, you can see all the hangars in the distance. I'm not sure if they're fully leased out or not. They just started building those just a few years ago, and obviously they're uh, they're down to the end of the runway. And you know, private aviation is a big thing here. So again, if you know you're considering uh, moving your company or expanding into the oil field out here, and you know you you know have access to or, or you own a, a personal private airplane or, or jet, they definitely have the facilities here to accommodate that. So definitely easy to get in and out of here from that perspective. Otherwise, if you're going to be flying commercial, you can go up to Williston. It's pretty limited right now. Now, I think they only have a flight to Denver. Maybe they have a couple of uh, flights in the winter time down to like Phoenix or Las Vegas or Florida, something like that. But you can check the airline's website to see. But the other option is to drive down to Dickinson, which you're looking about an hour and a half south of here. So a little bit, a little distance to get to any airports that, you know, will service. And there's always regional jets that get you to, you know, a hub airport such as Denver typically. So that kind of gives you a little idea of accessibility for airports. But yeah, if you're into uh, private aviation, the airport here definitely has all of those service and fuel and you know everything that you're gonna need for that so over the last 10 years with the massive I, and on a percentage basis it's absolutely in more than double triple I don't even know but this town's grown rapidly and so so has the investment in facilities so we're heading up now to the brand new high school well, it's not brand new anymore but it still seems like it the high school and those facilities I'm gonna do a quick drive around so you can kind of see you know what the public schools look like so your baseball fields batting cages covered stadium roofing. Even though it starts to get real chilly here in the fall, people still come out and support the kiddos. Yeah, you're gonna wanna bundle up though. And here's the actual high school, which we'll just pull in here. We got quite a bit of wind up here this afternoon. It is up here on a hill. So, you know, living in the uh, upper Midwest like this, wind is gonna be a pretty common thing. The Rough Rider Center on the left, kind of a public facility where you got like indoor, you know, gym and just, you know, other, you know, community activities and center. Even today, you got a mom over there with all of her kiddos. Here's the high school. Very modern, beautiful campus, especially for such a small town. It's amazing what they've done here. Like it's, you can tell that the people behind the scenes that are politically in charge and in control, they definitely are pushing for a long-term agenda. This isn't a short-term, you know, oil boom and bust. They want, they're investing heavily in the area because they want people to stay here and make this a really strong community. All right, so we're headed back down the hill, which wraps around this entire development up here, which includes obviously the high school. Here's a brand new elementary school, Fox Hills Elementary. You got some really nice homes over here. Not a lot of them, but you know, there's some empty lots yet to be uh, to be built on. So again, you know, if you're thinking about moving to Watford City, make sure you pick up the phone and give us a call. Shoot us an email and send us a text. That way, we can you know connect you with somebody that's going to be a really good fit for you know helping you figure out exactly how to approach buying a resale home or engaging with a builder to build a new one. Unlike a lot of large metropolitan areas like you know Dallas, Fort Worth, or Phoenix. You know, it's a little bit more um, nuanced here. It's not as, let's say, organized as far as new construction. The, the builders here, while they do a great job, they're not building thousands of homes at a time. They're talk we're talking a, a couple versus a, maybe a couple dozen at the most. And so if that's the environment that you're moving from or Houston, for example, which is exploding, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot different 
here. You don't just walk into model homes and you know check out the five or six options they have and then pick out one of the two dozen lots. It's a lot different, so you're gonna wanna definitely give us a call so we can uh, you know kind of help you understand how this market operates. It's definitely not as sophisticated and, and it's not a well-oiled machine, if that makes sense. So right here at the bottom of the hill for the Stengem family campus, which includes the schools and Rough Rider Center, you've got uh, another branch for First International Bank and Trust. Stone Home Brewing Company inside, it's awesome. If you like beers and burgers or you know that type of uh, food, you gotta check it out. It's definitely gonna be a, a big hit. And then here we are on Long Drive. So one of the very first houses I ever sold in Watford City when I was a brand new agent was right here on Long Drive. It backs up to the golf course and it's got some really big lots, beautiful homes. And actually the home right there, that's the one that I sold for a client. And um, I didn't get to meet the buyers, but uh, I hope they're taking good care of it. But this is Long Drive and as you can tell, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then that connects back into the Fox Hills Golf Course. We're gonna kind of cut over here. There's the cart path. So yeah, if you're into uh, more of a country club feel, I don't think there's actually any clubhouse, but if you wanna live on the golf course and have these views, this is gonna be the spot for you. So make sure you tell us you wanna check out Fox Hills. You know, not coincidentally, these are also gonna be some of your most expensive homes in Watford City. And if you're already in Watford, or maybe you are uh, maybe you live in Williston or even in Dickinson, but the majority of your company's work or time is spent in Watford, you know, you might really wanna consider moving here and um, we can definitely assist you with the whole process. So we have agents on our team in the entire state of North Dakota. So if you're selling your home, let's say in Dickinson and moving here to Watford or even up to Williston, you know, just give us a call and we can completely handle the whole thing for you um, with our team. So it wouldn't be, you know, stressful. You wouldn't have to figure out how to take care of this or that. You wouldn't have multiple agents to communicate with necessarily. You know, it's a lot more streamlined. You just give us a call and uh, phone numbers here at the bottom of the screen. But yeah, happy to talk to you about how that would work and how we can make that a reality for you guys. Let's cruise up here and check out some of the more, some more lots. Obviously, you see there's empty lots. They already have power, water, and sewer all stubbed in. You got uh, fire hydrants for the fire department. So beautiful development for new construction. So parks, huge, huge, huge here in Watford City. Um, if anything, people might argue they've over-invested in them. There are so many things for the kids to do, and adults, it's not even funny. Like there's parks on every corner, it feels like when you go through town, both for little kids, medium, you know, high school, junior high size kids, and of course, you know, the big kids. So I'm gonna walk or drive by a couple of them real quick, just to kind of show you that one. We've got ice rinks for the winter. We have outdoor swimming pool. We have here, you know, a, a fishing pond. They actually have turtles in there and whatnot. So there's definitely like lots and lots of things to do for for being in a small town i know the kids are gonna always complain there's nothing to do well <laughs> that's definitely not true baseball also we got track and field football community centers Watford City bottom line is huge, huge, huge on promoting a sense of community, neighbors getting to know each other, spending time together. Here we got the outdoor water slides, water park, and holy smokes, look how busy it is. Wild West Water Park. So if you're on Google Maps trying to figure out what this is, you just look it up, they got the lifeguards. They got the, the counter where you get some ice cream and pop and things like that. And just everyone's here today. I'm gonna try and get a good shot from a pyre. Let me just go up here and uh, come back down the hill and give you a little idea of what this is gonna look like. All right, so coming back down the hill. You got a skate park, you got a baseball field in the background, you got memorials, kids are like chilling. And here's gonna be a really good shot of the pool. I don't wanna get up in people's face with a camera and be rude, but I do want you guys to be able to, uh, to see and appreciate like just how popular this is in the summertime here. Baseball fields, water slides. Yeah, Watford City for a small town like this has got it made when it comes to public facilities, public parks, and getting to know your neighbors and having just a really tight knit sense of community. Like if you don't know your neighbors, you haven't been here very long, period. So obviously in the digital age, you know, the Facebook groups are gonna be where people talk on a regular basis and then makes it super easy to meet up in person, you know, at the, at the parks like this or anywhere else. Now I actually have heard Williston, which is, uh, like I said, 45 minutes to the north of here, they don't have an outdoor public pool like this. And so they're, they're going to soon. I've been doing a lot of fundraisers for the past several years to help finance and fund it. A lot of Williston people actually drive down here, my sister included, to bring the kids to the Watford City Pool. So it's a pretty popular spot. Let's head back over this way and just real quick, I'll get you a couple shots of, I'll get you a couple of shots of these parks over here. And for the most part, we'll wrap up our tour of Watford at that. This should give you a really nice overview of the of the city, of what's going on, what's available, and you know, make help you make the decision on whether you're gonna make that next step, which is to call, text, or email us and let us 
know like, hey, you know, I saw you guys on YouTube and we're thinking about moving to Watford City. Can you help us? And the answer is yes, we can absolutely help you. So give us a call, shoot us an email or send us a text message. Here's Bulkin Park, it's a little or one. Here's the pond I mentioned earlier, which has the snapping turtles and fountains. It's just a really nice, peaceful area to hang out and play. You got the giant ramada over there on the other side of the park. Looks like the police are actually having their uh, police picnic, which is cool. All right, so let's wrap up this video, guys. But, um, but long story short, yeah, Watford City has had some really small, tiny beginnings and over the last several years has just done an amazing job at investing, growing, and growing the right way. I mean, if you want to get in the nitty gritty of, um, you know, communities and how they're affected by oil booms like it has been out here. A lot of people will argue that um, Watford has done a way better job from a city and zoning and planning kind of perspective on managing the uh, the growth and, and uh, explosion of uh, activity and people that have moved here over the last decade or so. I don't personally live in Watford, so I can't tell you exactly what my opinion is, but my team members do, and I will be happy to connect you with them. So, you know, that said, if you're kind of contemplating Watford versus Willowstone, and I'm gonna have you talk a little bit, you know, to my team members to kind of understand some of the more nuances and how they might affect you and your personal situation, which ultimately is the most important thing when determining where to live in the Bakken area. So as far as Watford City, guys, there's a bunch of other small outlying areas we could go and look at. We're not gonna do that today in this video, but give me a call, give us a, yeah, give us a call, shoot us an email, send a quick text message, days, nights, weekends. We've got your back. We're moving here to Watford City, North Dakota. And until the next video, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.